we've done a boiling point elevation problem and a freezing point depression problem on the same solution. It was an aqueous solution, 52% by mass ethylene glycol. So I want to take those results and discuss them and see if they make sense. The reason why I picked the 52% is that comes out to almost a 50-50 percent from a volume point of view because that's that's a common recommendation when you're topping up your cooling system in your car uh, take say a liter of purified water and a liter of ethylene glycol and then you mix them together and then you top it up that way but but why a 50 50 volume mixture well this is what we got for our solution the boiling point was a little under 109 degrees, which that's better than the boiling point for pure water, which is 100 degrees, but look at pure ethylene glycol. That boils at almost 200 degrees Celsius. Boy, that our solution looks like it sucks compared to that. Here are some calculated values for boiling points. Now, this is where we are. You know, we did the 52%, but if you added even more ethylene glycol, you could raise the boiling point up a little bit farther. But look, you can't get anywhere near the 197 degrees Celsius. So if you're adding that 52% by mass solution to keep it from boiling, we're doing the wrong thing. I would think you would use pure ethylene glycol. Let's keep going. When we did the freezing point analysis, our solution freezes at a little lower than negative 32 degrees Celsius, which is a lot better than water. It's also a lot better than pure ethylene glycol. Pure ethylene glycol freezes at a little less than negative 13. So we've got some big benefits by using the 52% by mass ethylene glycol solution. Here's another graph of calculated freezing points. And this is where we were. Well, you, you know, you can add even more ethylene glycol and you can depress that freezing point even further. Uh, you get to a certain point to where when you have too much ethylene glycol, then the freezing point starts going back up. So we seem to have some conflicting results from a boiling point point of view, our solution's terrible. From a freezing point point of view, our solution's really good. Well, there's a little bit more to it in the cooling system for your car. Water transfers heat far better than ethylene glycol does. If you could run pure water in your system, that would probably be better in some cases because as soon as you start adding the ethylene glycol you decrease the ability of water to transfer that heat. Now the reason why your cooling system tends not to boil over is not because of the boiling point elevation properties of your solution. It's because your cooling system is a pressurized system. I know we've got the overflow tank but let, let's ignore that. Have you ever opened the radiator cap on a hot radiator? Not a good idea, right? Those caps are two-stage. You open them until the first click and you make sure you're nowhere near it. Because if it boils over, it'll bubble up and around that cap. You never take the radiator cap off unless your system's cool or unless you've hit that first stop. If you think back to Chem 1, we talk about how vapor pressure affects boiling point. As the vapor pressure above the solution increases, the boiling point increases. That's what keeps your cooling system from overflowing. So the reason we add the ethylene glycol to water is to keep your solution from freezing. You know, here in Lincoln, Nebraska, that's a problem part of the year. 
if your cooling system freezes, okay, not only is it not a solution and it doesn't flow anymore, but you probably crack your block. So why don't you add even more ethylene glycol to it? Well, you can. This kind of depends upon where you live. If you live in a colder area, you would either add some more ethylene glycol to depress the freezing point even lower, or you could use something else that would work a little better, that's also a little bit more expensive. Uh, but there's that kind of magic area, as I mentioned, where if you add too much ethylene glycol, then you really diminish the capacity of that solution to transfer heat. So summary, the reason you add it is to lower the freezing point.